Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Marcela Zachariasheva. I am verification team leader at CODASIP. And uh, in this presentation, I will show you uh, how it is possible to customize RISC-V processor core in order to achieve a significant performance gain. Uh, I will show you a really nice example we did uh, together uh, with MicroSemi company uh, in their application for IoT. Okay. So uh, let's begin with a short introduction of our processor development environment, which is called Codasip Studio. The main input of Codasip Studio is high-level description of the processor in architecture description language called CODL. From this high-level description, it is possible to automatically generate uh, software tools, so for example, compiler, linker, assembler, profiler, simulator, and also uh, RTL, representation of the processor, in Verilog, VHDL, or system Verilog, and also uh, verification environment according to the UVM verification methodology. You can either create the high-level description in CODL from scratch, in case you are creating a completely new processor, but you can also import an existing model. So, for example, you can import uh, CODASIB Berkelium, which is implementing RISC-V ISA. Okay. The main goal of this presentation, however, is to show you how it is possible to customize the RISC-V processor using the CODASIP Studio tools. So we will not talk about designing the processor from scratch, but to use CODASIP Studio just for the customization purposes. The first step is to select the right uh, variant of the RISC-V core. So um, in our CODASIP portfolio, uh, we have different versions of the Berkelium core. You can see uh, Berkelium 1. It is an ultra low cost option, really a simple core. It, then uh, BK3, containing three pipeline stages, and it's suitable for a variety of applications. Uh, BK5, which is offering best performance. And uh, in November, uh, we introduced a new variant of the Berkelium 5, and it is a 64 bit variant of the core, so suitable for storage wireless applications. So this is the first step doing the customization. The next step uh, is ISA configuration. Codasip Studio uh, contains a configuration layer where you can select uh, the, the variant of the core by enabling and disabling the ISA extensions. So for example, when you look at the button, on the BK5, you can select just the integer instructions, or you can enable also multiplication and division extension, or you can enable floating points, or both. So in this way, you can easily create four variants of the core. The same applies for the Berkelium 1 and Berkelium 3. You can see that uh, in Codasip Studio, it is possible to uh, configure also the memory size, and also you can enable uh, parallel hardware multiplier in case uh, for multiplication and division extension or JTAG debugging. If this is not enough uh, for, let's say that you are targeting uh, higher performance or lower area or lower power consumption and it is still not enough uh, by the ISA configuration, you can always define new instructions in the CODL high-level description. The best way how to do this is to take the application, run it in the CODASIP Studio in the Profiler tool. You can analyze the clock cycles numbers. You can analyze which instructions were used. You can analyze also resources coverage and so on. And based on this information, you can specify new instructions. After adding them, again, you do the profiling, uh, you check the clock cycles, if the new instructions were used, and so on. And by this uh, analysis, you can increase the performance even more. The last step is automated generation. As I said, in the CODASIP Studio, it is possible to automatically generate everything from the high-level description. So what you need to do 
is generate SDK, so software tools, generate new RTL, and generate verification environment. So for example, when you add a new instruction, it is necessary to regenerate all the tools and RTL because they will then automatically recognize the new instruction. So as I said, we did a really nice example with MicroSemi company for their uh, audio processing solution for IoT. Uh, we applied all the before mentioned steps in, in this case and uh, their main requirements uh, were low power, uh, possibility to create derivative designs, it's possible in Codasip Studio by allowing and um, enabling, disabling extensions, and uh, mainly the performance improvement. So, uh, in the first step, they selected Berkelium Free uh, Risk V Core from Codasip. In the second step, uh, we tried three configurations. The first configuration uh, had just the integer instructions enabled. The second configuration uh, contained also multiplication and division instructions. And the third configuration had also a parallel hardware multiplier. You will see in the results uh, how uh, the results, how the performance uh, was affected. Uh, actually, we saw a place for another performance improvement, for further improvement, and that's the reason why we decided to implement together new DSP instructions. And in the fourth step, as I said, it is necessary to automatically uh, regenerate all the tools because uh, they will need to recognize newly added instructions. So we generated SDK, RTL, UVM automatically, and the final configuration that we used is Berkelium Free, IM, Parallel Multiplier, and DSP instructions. In this slide, it is the most important slide because it contains the results. So in the first column, you can see the configurations that I mentioned before. In the second column, you can see the clock cycles in the third, the code size, and in the fourth column, the area consumed. Uh, all the customization work uh, was actually done in three days, so really uh, it is possible to customize the core rapidly in Codasip <coughs> Studio environment. So you can see that with every new configuration, the clock cycles, uh, the number of clock cycles reduced a lot. Uh, also, we were able to achieve a smaller code size but uh, the only price we uh, had to pay was an increase in the area. But this was not a significant criterion for micro, micro semis. So uh, very important result is the performance gain. And you can see that by the uh, last configuration, we achieved 56.24 uh, 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 times uh, performance gain. So. This is a really nice results in three days. Uh, here you can see the same results, just uh, graphing, graphically displayed. So in the x-axis you can see the gate count number, in the y-axis you can see the clock cycles. So, you, so uh, the clock cycles number uh, was significantly reduced. Uh, you can see a small increase in the gate count but as I said, performance was the main criterion in this case. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we can discuss later on during the breaks, and I can also present these data uh, results in more details. Well, thank you very much for your attention.